Right side. Just hit. I got an AK, no armor. Nice. Smoked off CT. Are you going down? Oh my god. Oh Four my god. Man. One more. He's in front of it. Oh my, oh my god, thank god. But as it used to be, so Ali would have seen his arm, whether he knew he was there or not when he swung wide into the walk's position. The bottom of middle, bodies tagged as well, so this actually turns around quite significantly. It's not necessarily clear-cut in the fact that it's a one-man advantage still for G2. If body gets found, it all goes level. They're going to go back over toward B, however. Crossfire set, NBK, Ooh, towards CT. Who gets a great first shot, responded by Alu, and that'll send them in toward the site. It's Kenny in the back, great shot again from Alu. He's up to three, and he's looking to hold off towards CT, but the rotations will come from Banana. Apex on his own and early. There's your P2000. He's going to be alone and has to do it all, because even though Body's in this still, he's got six HP, and he's not yet nearby to even trade. So Apex has to be a little bit careful. He at least gets information before Body arrives, which will serve to benefit him in this situation. But Alu's got four. He's up to it. Body's low. Alu could find an ace in the immediate opening round, and he will to start it off with all five. Alu stepping up there. We had some aggression towards Banana. One in the actual arch, one in the library itself. Both with scouts tagging up a lot of damage there and finding kills across the board. And then Shoxi, great play towards Quad and Body joining in as Shoxi was taking away the aggro. He cleaned up and found three himself. So FaZe do get the bomb down. They'll be forcing back in return. There's a little replay of Alu's pistol masterclass there, but big round for G2 to pick up. We did say this is one of their best maps here, and the fact that there's any double orbs going forward as well, that's going to help their economy. This is a big round for either side. Two AKs for FaZe. Rain and Alu will be loading those weapons along with three Deagles as well. I'm fucking insane. <clears throat> Put that shit on Reddit. Can be in mid, I guess. I'm in mid. No clear. The ramp looks clear. Yeah, he's not here. He's on APC left side. Oh. What? what a shot, dude. What? Wow. That guy spams me. Ends and now Tux is left alone. He's got Lons down to seven, takes out Lons, and now Yellow is the only one left. Can he get it? He does! Chiefs! Is there time? He doesn't have a kit. No, Chiefs is on T side, oh, brother. T side. They don't need a kit. They don't need a kit they because he's kit got a clue. All. They've won the round, and that's 11 5 now. Chiefs bringing one back. 15, 15 rounds of them needing a kit, and then. Smoke, they spot him, but he's gone to the silence, Dem 4. He's going to sniff in as well. This is still 2v1. Oh, that's got to be close for Alu. Goes to a 1v1. Alu lets him kick his teammate down, but he's there to punish him back. However, it does mean another gun lost. Yeah, overall is comfortable. It does come down to the 1v1, but there's no way Alu was missing that shot. Um, it was a good effort by Shoxi there, but didn't have the information that he would be towards Graveyard. 3-1 now. They've uh, broken the serve of G2, so this has to be a full eco. This is a bit of a problem going forward. We discussed the idea that G2 love to bring the double orb set up. After all these four spies, it's going to be... A t we see it so much. Yeah, it's just that now he's been punished by one frag. They still should be absolutely fine. They're sticking together and making sure they have trade potential here. Kiyoshima leading the way towards a site, but he's going to find the Deagle, and they're by themselves. Where's the refrag at this point? They're being clumsy, but Nico will find the next kill. But the AK picked up in pit as well. Nico gets the shot on Sharks. Oh. Thankfully, they got MBK, but Kenny's arrived. Two immediately on the P250. Bomb down in the A site. Alu has to go up versus up, but neither with it. It's going to be an AK-47 for Alu and the P250 for Kenny, and Kenny's trying to flank him. He's trying to rotate around, just gets around the corner at quad before he arrives. Oh, this is perfect from Kenny. He yep. gets the timing right here. He's he going to be down to like a second whether he gets it. Here it is, oh! and he gets the dink! Turns, but comes back again. The repeat, because Alu tried to spray in, and Kenny's timing is perfect. It's a return serve again, this time on the full save. And then... God damn it, Only bro. Bro. For a second. Bro. Bitch. <laughs> Okay. There he is. Kill, and that's going to make things so difficult for Connor. He takes one to the face. 
That's the problem with buying chest armor in pistol round. It just forces you DK mode. 1v2 was a 1v3. Falls down onto the old plywood. And if he touches the bomb here, it's likely a very short life for Connor. He's got a kid at least. And he's got a lot of smoke as well. Is he just going to stick this? He's going to bait them out. Oh, that was beautifully played. Mainline realizes exactly what just happened. Now he's going to have to go for this fight. No. He actually wins it. Does he have the time? I think he's got he does. this. Connor wins the one versus three with four HP from heaven. Throws the smoke down, baits out the first kill, catches him up with three kills in the round, two more to find. As Kenny stays outside of the smoke, Jox is gonna go with him, smoke down for another few seconds before they can push through, but Alu's considering the flank. That smoke should be gone right about now, I believe. As they no start kits. to get closer. No kits indeed, gives them a threshold of 13 seconds to work with, 10 seconds now for Shox to get the kill and get on the bomb. Alu's dancing well, the base time out, and he's got the headshots as well, FaZe. They get another round in a row, and G2 limited to two is going to have no money again now. Play this perfectly on the post plant. Oh, and they got it. All right, Davey has two. Freebie lets them both climb into the high heavens and shuts them down. It'll be a 1v2 now for Wardell. Quick flick to the right side. A smoke comes out. Wardell gets the second kill as well. What chaos has erupted? It looked so good with allowing two players with trigger discipline to make their way into heaven, but Wardell finally coming through. We've seen him struggle throughout the series so far, but when you... Oh, you, you just... The fuck? You just killed Freakazoid. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> you just got a random board off of Freakazoid. Yeah. That's a Reddit. That's a Reddit right there, boys. I'll show you streaming. Yeah. Alright, that's alright. Right. Someone that upload. That. Someone upload. Dazzle, that's, that's your shot for freedom right there. That's your shot on the front. <laughs> Nico is a little bit timid to do so. Hesitant, in fact, because Body's still at library. Instead, he goes back to catch off shocks in rotation from Bottom Banana. Kenny toward a sight. Scope nearly got the right angle. Now it's on to Body. Last alive. Nose reigns in behind the box because his teammate was just killed by him, but he still has to solve it, still has to find him and worry about Nico trying to wrap back in from apartments, but Nico taking his time to get to the doorway means body gets it down to the one-on-one, -on -one, but Nico holds together, and it's now a phase round <laughs> to make it 5-5. Five -five. Nice play.